Good morning. How is everybody on this wonderful Saturday morning? My little boy's looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm talking to myself. Say hi, Parker. Hi, buddy. Well, me and my son Parker are headed out to our local lake today. It's uh, in the 50s. The last time I was out there, the water temperature was in the high 40s. Um, so we're hoping that we can go out here and find a few fish. So, of course, we got the boat hooked up and we're ready to row. Now, it did rain yesterday. Uh, sorry for the shake driving a five speed got to change gears uh, now it did rain yesterday but it was a decently warm rain uh, so i'm hoping that maybe it ain't cooled the lake back down any uh, it's probably still muddy like mud you know the last time i was out there you had maybe three very tops four inches of visibility so we're going to see what we can do today and hopefully my co-pilot is going to catch a big old fish what do you think parker um i think i might catch a bass a bass well that's what we're fishing for ain't it yeah yeah Alrighty, well, y'all stay tuned. We'll see you on the water. Well, we made it to the water. Got my trusty co-pilot with me. Hi. Give me a, give me a thumbs up. Mm. Yeah. Are we going after big bass today? Yeah. Yeah. Get the seat now. All right. And the water has warmed up tremendously. It's uh. It's 53 degrees the last time I was out here. Put that on, baby. We're fixing her to go. Real fast? Yeah. Really, really, really fast. Yeah. And uh, we started out back here in this little pocket, and we didn't never do any good. So we're going to try to move out here toward the main lake, see if the water is warmer or colder, or see what's going on. See if we can so, put some in the boat. Make sure to subscribe on Daddy and Butcher's videos. That's right. All right, we'll catch up with you later. Guys, we didn't catch any fish today. So it, it's a big failure, and we might catch a fish on the next episode. So bye-bye, and -bye. subscribe. Well, you heard it from the boss. We didn't catch no fish today. So we'll but... see you later. So we'll see you on the next Put your daddy video. Make sure to strive and tweet on the no no hold or rotation fail. You heard it first here. Well catch, catch you later. Catch you later. Well, here we are making wet tracks back to the house. Today was not a success. Um I rode around a little bit, done some graphing. And as far as I can tell, the bait's still a little ways out. I mean, they're up in the water column. Um, you know, they're somewhere between 10 to 15 foot deep. And the bass or you know, the fish, whatever that is there, it looks like it looks like they're pretty much right with them. Uh, I, I fished deep, you know, I went as far as 15 foot, uh, throwing different things, never did get a bite, I uh, throwed a deep jerk bait, uh, I throwed a spinner bait, I know it really ain't that time of year yet, but with the muddy water and with the conditions, the water, you know, the lake water temperatures come up, um, I found some that was right at, it was between, it kept going between 54 and 55 degrees so you know I just I tried everything that I could uh, I let Parker uh, drop on a couple uh, never could get one to bite or even 
act interesting in it. Uh, so I don't know if there's. Hi guys. Here. I don't know if they're still in their you know winter winter patterns, and it's just so muddy that you can't they can't see it, see dropping on them. I don't know. Uh, but the lake has cleared up some. The last time I was out here, uh, visibility was three inches or less. And today, in some of the pockets that I did find uh, that me and Parker fished in, they the pockets was, I mean, I had, you know, six inches of visibility. I know that ain't much difference, but sometimes, you know, and it can help. Uh, I did fish shallow. Uh, fished around a lot of docks and stuff uh, and some lay downs uh, I kind of figured you know with that muddy water that they might pull over to them uh, that way they can kind of have a sense of direction uh, I throwed a lot of water displacement baits and I just I never could get nothing to commit you know uh, I mean <laughs> I tried everything uh, now there was some shad that moved up pretty shallow in one of them pockets uh, and they actually the shad started popping and yeah, I even dug around in the box and, and found a tall water bait and that you know moves a lot of water on top and I chucked it around some but there, uh, even though the bait was popping around and stuff uh there wasn't there wasn't ever ne i never seen a fish come up and bust on any you know so i don't know uh i guess next time i'm gonna uh this will probably be the last video for a little bit uh, i gotta work all this week uh, and hopefully it's it's supposed to be pretty all week and then it's supposed to turn you know rainy and a little colder this weekend well, next weekend because today's Saturday but hopefully this you know warm front sun coming in and coming out and stuff like that hopefully it'll you know get them into that maybe they'll start their spring transition and if they do hopefully I can get out here and get on a couple uh, but the main thing about today is that Parker had a good time Hi. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. We'll see, see you in a couple days or so. We'll see you, see you on the next Saturday and Buttery episode. Bye-bye. Well, uh, y'all, you know, subscribe, hit the like button, give me some comments on what you think. Uh, if you live in East Tennessee and, and you're fishing these muddy reservoirs, uh, if you've got any you know tips and stuff uh, or questions that I might be able to answer I ain't been uh, fishing you know hardcore except for the past couple of years so I mean I've still got a lot of learning to do but you know you can't learn sitting at the house on the couch and that's how come every chance I get you know I try to get out here on the water uh, and I fish in different, you know, I try to fish in, in, in all kinds of scenarios. You know, I, I, if, if there's a cold front moving in, it's real pretty, but if the cold front's coming in, I get out here trying to find out what the fish are, you know, what they're trying to do before that cold front does hit. Uh, if a cold front moves in through the week and it gets kind of cold and then it warm, starts warming back up on the weekends, you know, I, I get out here and I try to find out what they're doing after that. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot to learn. Uh, and, I'm, you know, this year, hopefully, if everything works out, me and my partner, Aaron, the guy that I... tournaments you know videos and the cameras and stuff like that are going to come second because the money is going to be first you know I, so uh, but 
hopefully next time I'll be able to show you some fish. Catch you then.